Small Dwarring with Awesome Dynamic. I'm going to show you how to properly optimize a photo for WordPress using Beaver Builder and the Web Resizer website. So in order to do that, first we're going to use the Fill IMG CSS class. And if you don't know what that means, it's essentially something that puts a gray box in the space so we can measure it to identify the picture size that we want. If you don't have this added in, you can ask us, but I'll show you how it works. We're basically going to add a text editor to where we want the photo to be. Once that is in place, go over to the Advanced tab. <clears throat> and down here in the class, I'm going to type in Fill IMG. Click on the General tab and hit Enter until we get the picture to about the size I want. So that's about the size I want there. And hit save. Now, <clears throat> to do this correctly, we're not using Photoshop this time. So we have a method to use Photoshop that makes this a little bit easier and straightforward. But if you don't have Photoshop, we need to measure this gray box to find out what size it is. And to do that, we use the page ruler extension for Google Chrome. And when you Google Chrome Web Store or Chrome uh, extensions you'll get to this page and just type in page ruler and it's this one right here and when you add this to Chrome it'll give you a page ruler so you can actually measure the size of anything on the screen and it puts an icon that looks similar to this ruler up into your uh, Google Chrome just above the bookmarks bar so we're going to use that right now I click on that icon, which you can't see on the screen here, but that's not the important part. It gives me these crosshairs, and you'll notice this blue bar at the bottom. And when I measure something, it's going to tell me the pixel dimensions, width and height. So I'm going to grab the corner. Now you see it didn't go exactly where I wanted, so I'm just going to drag this down into place and get this right up against the edges. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Close is good enough in most cases. Uh, we just want it to look good in relation to the different things that might be next to it. So right now I'm getting 374 by 233. I'm a big fan of rounding, so we're going to do 375 by 235. 375, 235. I'm writing that down on a sticky note right now. So I'm going to turn off this ruler, and I'm going to head over to my web resizer. And this is webresizer.com, and when I get to the home page of this website, there's going to be an orange button that says Resize Photos Here. So I'm going to click on that, and then I can choose the file. So I'm going to choose the file I want to optimize, and this is the one I want of the airplanes. All right, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to click Upload Image. After it's uploaded, I'm able to modify the image in several ways. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop it. So I'm going to hit the Crop Image button, and I can choose the dimensions that I want. So that's why I wrote down what I had a moment ago. So that's 375 by 235. And this will get the box just how I want. Now the original image you'll see is huge. You see the width and height. So it already scaled it down quite a bit. And if it's too small, you can modify the dimensions it made it for you so it's bigger so you can get your crop box to where you want. But essentially, I'm going to get this how I want it to be. And then I'm going to apply those changes. Okay, so now my image is exactly the size that I want for that area. I also want to take a look at the quality level because that's going to influence the size. And we want to have the smallest file size possible where it still looks good. So image quality is set to 80%. So I'm going to drop this down to, let's say, 30 and apply and see. Does it look terrible? Yeah, there's pixelations around uh, pixelation around the, the airplanes there. So I'm going to boost that up to maybe 50. Okay, still a little bit of pixelation. Let's try 60. Still a little bit there. Okay, right here I'm not really seeing, seeing much pixelation, maybe a little bit there, but when I sit back 
as a casual observer of the website, I'm not really seeing it there. I get the gist of what's going on here. And I saved a little bit of pixel size, but not much. Maybe it would be worthwhile just keeping it at 80. Okay. So size 29 kilobytes. We're trying to get this as small as possible. So once I'm good with this, I can... I'll hit apply changes here. Then see this download this image button? I'm going to download this image, and I'm going to name it something. It's automatically going to append underscore OPT, which is fine if you want to leave that there. But I know the keyword that I'm trying to juice on this page, for lack of a better word, is financial advisor. So I'm going to put that into the image name. I'm going to save that. And I already saved a version of it here. So I'm going to do underscore OPT. Now that I have the image sized, I can add the image in. So I'm going to add this photo. I'm going to put it on top of the box. I'll get rid of the box in a second. Select the photo. Select this. I already have alternative text here. So I would, I would upload the photo, actually. Select the files. Here's the one I uploaded. Okay. And here I put alternative text. Again, this is for visually impaired folks. But the key here is to add the key word in the sentence that describes what the image is about to somebody who's using a screen reader, and that is visually impaired. So I would type in... Right, our financial advisor staff is excellent, much like the fighter airplane pilots pictured here. All right, so I'm going to save this. And the picture is placed, and it's exactly the size that I need.